Good afternoon, dear viewers. Today we will speak about this product. An interesting product and it is used quite a lot. It is a saw. Quite a common device, quite a common machine tool. Represented by different companies, different producers, different models with different functional capacities. However, all these saws have the same advantages and disadvantages. And now I will tell you a tale, a fairy tale, so to speak. A tale about horrible things, about errors, about forecast. A tale from business. Business in the area of innovations, consequences of errors, incorrect decisions, poor judgment, things that you can encounter in innovations. All of that happened in terms of this product. Let's go back to 2009, 2010. It was happening back then. There was a Russian company which was called Interschool. Everyone knew them quite well. And back then we started a business relationship with that company in the area of innovations to solve problems and to remove disadvantages of this product. What are the disadvantages here? Looks like everything is fine. At the same time, you see the induction motor. And here you see the same motor from Interschool saw. And such a long motor allows the saw only to bend to the left. It cannot bend to the right. Because the motor is an obstacle for that. So when you fix skirting here, you can bend it. This way you can cut it at 45 degrees, but you cannot do it in the other direction. Then you need to change it and it is loss of time, loss of quality and the things don't really match. The second disadvantage, you know the induction motor, it gets connected to one phase network, here is a cable, one phase network. And when we start this motor from one phase network, we are to create a phase shifting chain. And for that we have this condenser. Here it is. Great thing. However, three, three, I'm showing that. Three disadvantages come up. The first one is the following. It is quick start. And the second one, as a consequence of the first one, it is a big starter current for induction motors. These currents, it is from 7 to 11. That is why it knocks out automatic systems, you know, in newly built buildings, when people do renovations, and they do it at the same time. And the third disadvantage, so again, the first one is the fact that So it has big starter currents because it accelerates very quickly. And the second disadvantage is the fact that this saw has a long run out. When we switch it off, when we press the button here, it continues to rotate. The task was set using our technology. To do so that the disk spins quickly, but for the currents not to go over the value of 2. And when you switch it off, for the disk to stop as quickly as possible. Plus for electronics to work properly, you know, protection-wise, if a person gets into a dangerous zone, 
it by stop very quickly to avoid damaging fingers, you know, limbs. That is why back then, more than 10 years ago, we used our technologies and we made an experimental prototype of the motor. We started to test it, but back then BLDC motors were in vogue with permanent magnets. And the company Interscall made a bet on BLDC motor. We warned them that that was an error, that magnets for experimental prototypes, they were sold at dumping prices. And as soon as you get to serious production, Chinese people will fix such a price, you will definitely not like it. And the second condition which they can present is buying magnets as part of their own products, which would mean a high added value. They did not hear us and they started to build a plant in Yelabuga. Yelabuga Inter School. And when they realized what was happening, it was too late. Sbeer Bank, the biggest Russian bank, had given them a loan and they started to eat the dead corpse, so to speak. The plant disappeared, it stopped its existence, and Interschool, which used to be Russian, became Chinese. This is a consequence of a decision which was not correct in the domain of innovations, actually in any area of business. Every area has its rules, its difficulties, its problems, its knowledge. And if you don't have all the knowledge, you know, count on judgment or believe the opinion of somebody you don't know very well, who just says pleasant things to you, it is not a very good thing to do. You come to a doctor, they tell you, you will be operated on. It is not very pleasant. However, when they tell you, like, drink some herbal teas, well, that is pleasant, but that is not very effective. However, if you have a bullet stuck in your body, it is to be removed, and no herbal tea will help there. So, years passed, and we got back to this development, because it is very, very relevant. We got back to it, because we were performing work in terms of developing a drive for an angle grinder. We will talk about that later. And the motor which was developed for the angle grinder, here it is. Actually, it was applicable to this device as well. You see, this is standard interscall motor for the standard saw. And this is ours. They are both induction motors. This one is started via a condenser, with the usage of a condenser, and this one with a controller. We remove this part and all the rest, as we have said. We also have plates now, which improve characteristics. So if we look at all the characteristics, our drive is not more expensive than this one. And the disc accelerates without creating two big currents, plus you can regulate rotations, plus there is safety mode. And plus we consume less energy. Because this motor, together with the controller, the Cassinus Phi is 0 0.998 or 0 0.995, not to mention the performance coefficient. And these figures, they're not theoretical. We obtain them with a stand which is in the same room in the laboratory. We are in the laboratory now. All of that is confirmed. They are not tales, it is reality. And such motors, we now do fittings for them for serious production, to make windings, to produce 
such rotors. All of that is equipment which we are already manufacturing, which we are already producing for serious production. Some more time will pass and serious production will be launched. The question is, where will it be launched? Very probably it will be launched on the Elabosheva site, number 16, where the Design and Technological Bureau is being built now. Maybe it will be somewhere else. But we need to understand that we're not going to play around with anyone else. I'm just warning you. Enough of that. We were putting ourselves in someone else's shoes and so on. But now the existence theorem has been proved. And we are ready. We are ready to get on the market. China, you know. Interschool or Milwaukee, you know. It's all the same. Any company. We can do rebranding and put the inscription so much here. It will not be difficult. And it is not difficult for us to make the motor and the controller. How can it end? Given that we can have a dumping price, plus these brands, you know, they are under the impact of sanctions and they make very good offers for us to get on the market. We could not even imagine a situation better than this one. The more sanctions we get, the more they close our market, the bigger this market becomes for us. Well, thank you for the sanctions. And now to provide some evidence, we will now change the setting a little bit. We will remove this machine and we will put Interscall here, the Interscall company one, to show you the difference. We have changed them. This device here, and this is the Interscall company device. It is a little bit bent. The working zone, we can do it this way. We can regulate it. We can adjust it. It can be a different angle. If we compare this motor, which used to be there with this one, of course, dimensions are, well, a little bit different, you know. They are functioning devices, this is clear. Looks quite cluttered up. It has been demounted. I have asked the guys to demount it. Why? Let's turn the table a little bit. To show that even this, this gear, we have removed the controller. We have even preserved the gear. And this motor lacked rotations. It is about 2800 and the tool is D4. And that one had a belt gear, which improved transmission. And here it is the decreasing one. Because this motor assures 18,000 rotations. And as for this one, it needs 4500. Given that we can adjust regulations of the controller, we can put any disks, any tools with any characteristics. It is real. It used to be impossible, but it is real now. Plus, we can change the ratio, transmission ratio. It depends on the producer and on the needs. One, why this? device will be used for what purpose this one that one and all the others so the existence theorem has been proved the 
these machines, which have been realized, we are planning to show them at exhibitions that we will take part in. Everyone who wishes can go to those exhibitions. Retro Transport Army 2022 are the exhibitions as well. And we will show these developments. And in a planned mode, we will prepare production not only of the motors. There is the branding here. You see Interscol PTK 252 slash 12,200 P. We have other tools there. I don't want to tell fortunes now, but something indicates that very soon there may be different letters on it. Soon. A different abbreviation and a different company name. We will see. I don't want to tell fortunes, but we will see. Time is constantly moving. Things are changing dynamically, constantly. And if this brand, good brand, good device, good product, it has not been changed for many years and it is time for it to change. Just like for the others. Why did we remove from production Greenwich? Multifunctional portative plasma complex Greenwich. Because it had run its course. You know, we have accumulated a lot of experience. There are no new elements, a new base of elements, new solutions, new parts, new components based on which we could develop a supply source. New technological opportunities for the burner appeared. We want to redesign it and we took the decision to put all our effort in the main area, which was actually supplying, implementing of Greenwich. What we earned was invested here. So Greenwich turned out not to make any more economic sense. This product is to go through, you know, Botox injections. We will rejuvenate it. We will breathe a new life into it. We will give it a new heart. And I hope that consumers will be happy with it, will be satisfied with the new characteristics. And it will be pleasant for them to work with these tools. But this is not all. Today we have presented this tool to you. And as they say in Ukraine, wait for more. Then we will bring the angle grinder, I think. Then the guys will make preview, show photos of the angle grinder as compared to other branded prototypes. It's just to provoke your interest. Then lawn mowers, then refuel tankers, then mortising machines, and many, many other tools, electric tools, as well as home appliances. All the prototypes are being worked on already. They're being prepared. And we will tell you about them. There will be more news ahead. See you soon.